Hello, I'm Alex from Music Lessa, and I'm here with CJ from Magic in the Cookie. Uh, I think you've played here before. Are you happy to be back? Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's been a little while since we played a show. It's been about seven months, so yeah, blowing the cobwebs off a little bit. Yeah, so yeah, good to be back. Oh, why did you have so long break? What have you been doing? Uh, just been writing a load of new music, basically. I've been in the studio for uh, for probably way too long, but yeah, we're, yeah. So it's just nice to be back out. Can you tell us a bit about the new music? Have you got anything coming? Yeah, uh, we're kind of unsure. It's a little bit up in the air, but there's like 50 songs worth of stuff like finished and ready to go, which is nice. Uh, it's a nice position to be in, but it's kind of tricky because we don't know what we want to put out now. So yeah, that's the only that's the only trouble. But yeah, there's loads done. That's amazing. Uh, can you describe your music a bit to us? Um, someone someone called it art pop the other day, for want of a better term. But I'm kind of happy with that. I'll take that. Uh, it's kind of like slightly 80s influenced. Um, and pretty, pretty honest, I think. Um, yeah, I think it's. Uh, yeah, so I, I'm kind of, I'm not very good at explaining myself, as you can probably tell. Uh, so I think the easiest way to do it is through writing songs. So yeah, that's why. You know. uh, what are your best uh, biggest musical inspirations? Uh, talk, talk. Rest in peace, Mark Hollis. Um, who else? Springsteen. Um, most I've been listening to at the minute. I actually listened to a soundtrack yesterday uh, from a film called Good Time. It came out. I highly recommend it. It's very good. It's got a song with Iggy Pop on the end, and that's pretty sweet. So, yeah, check that out. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of my brief list of influences. Uh, what festival do you enjoy playing the most? Because I saw you've done a few gigs. Um, I think we did Trunk Festival. We played Trunk Festival with Low Island last year. Uh, that was pretty sweet. Um, we did Handmade, played Academy One at Handmade, um, which was really nice. It's a hometown show. But yeah, I think I think Truck kind of edged it. It was kind of a nice summer, the most summery thing we've ever done, and it was great, yeah, so probably Truck. So are you based in Leicester? We are, yeah, yeah. I've got a studio about 10 minutes away. Um, we're in there. Uh, easy Life are in there. We're doing very well. Um, who else is in there? Um, Bank called the Delegrants, um, Bank called Jusco, pretty sweet. Uh, yeah, it's like a real nice hub, and there's some producers and engineers and stuff, and that's pretty great. Yeah, so yeah, that's amazing. Uh, is there any festival you want to be part of, like if you can choose anything? Uh, I don't necessarily think like festival. It's always been like a running joke to go and play Red Rocks one day. So yeah, watch this space. Um, that's in like America, but yeah, I think any festival in particular. But yeah, probably to go and play Red Rocks is pretty sweet. So. So, uh, later on, we're going to record your song, Real Love. Can you introduce it to us, tell a bit more about it? Uh, yeah, so Real Love, um, it's a song about uh, patience. Um, and kind of taking a long time to realise how you feel about someone and being willing to wait and being willing to kind of grow up together and then appreciating each other in different spaces and in different lights as you've grown up. So, yeah, that's kind of the basis of it. Thank you very much for the interview and we can't wait to see you playing. Thank you.
Sweet.